every single day. Uh, and it all came about uh, sometime in March when suddenly uh, we, we went into lockdown about a week before the country officially went into lockdown because of my health conditions. But anyway, um, uh, I suddenly thought, well, what am I going to do? We've lost our entire business. I mean, literally in an hour. It was like in an hour. It suddenly, boom. Literally two days before, we were going to site meetings to discuss, uh, to meet a new venue. And uh, suddenly, two days later, everything was gone. And what I'm referring to today specifically and that's uh, this message is going out on uh, the relevant to the relevant people i'm talking about ibiza chill house now ibiza chill house as a concept uh started purely in 2019 it was a we had a quiet period i dj at various private events uh with musicians and uh, you know house music i love and I, I work with musicians that improvise on top. And I thought, wow, why don't I try and do uh, a public event? We didn't do it for, there's no ticket price. It was free to attend. And we did it in Chipperfield. And to cut a long story short, we did a subsequent one with a friend of mine, Brandon Block. And that was a sellout really fast. And then, so during winter, we did a few other ones. We did New Year's Eve. They're all sort of family orientate, orientated. And uh, so we quickly put together a whole tour of Ibiza Chill House at loads of spectacular venues, beautiful locations in places like Kinton, uh, Weybridge, Cobham, um, Marlow, uh, just loads of other places like that, Oxford, uh, Cambridge, and also back in Chipperfield as well. Now, obviously, very early on in this year, we had to either cancel or postpone, which is what we did, and we made refunds where we could. Um, now, there was one particular event <clears throat> that was the one in uh, uh, in the beautiful location the golf club uh, of east mosley um which uh, went on sale i think about march time sold out fast really quickly uh we couldn't believe it uh that we had to postpone from may to august of this year but obviously we can't do it this august either um and we have another one in Chipperfield the day before. So we've got the 30th of August in Chipperfield, the 31st in uh, East Mosley. And neither can go ahead. Now, we were sending our tickets through Eventbrite. And rightly so, uh, a few weeks into the, um, the crisis, into the lockdown, they decided to start retaining the money to protect ticket holders um, but obviously, it, before that, we had access to the ticket money that was coming in, so we could use it to do marketing for all of our all, all of our events. And the the reality is simply this: we can't go ahead on in August, so we're going to postpone. And with along with this video, will be the the new postponed date. It's either going to be May next year, but I'm hoping August of next year. And obviously, there'll be people that are very frustrated about that, and they will. They might not be able to attend the subsequent date and they might want their, their a refund. They might want to cancel their, their purchase. And of course, they're 100% entitled to. Now, uh, you know, I don't feel comfortable giving you my sub sub story because I know that everyone has been affected by this. And, you know, I don't want to compete and say that we've been hit harder than someone else but the reality is I think we've been hit exceptionally hard anyone in the event industry will know and particularly in our particular sector where we've sold tickets and by the way we did this not even as a major money-making thing <coughs> I mean the tickets weren't extremely expensive you know usually about 10-15 pounds something like that not more and so uh, it wasn't that profitable anyway, but there's a lot of people involved. Brandon Block, another DJ that's part of Ibiza Chill House who had expected to come here. We had, we had about 24 dates scheduled just for the first half of the year. Uh, and there were other events related to it, like an outdoor cinema. And all of this kind of went kaput. So all the musicians are out of work, not just the musicians working for me, but every single musician you know isn't working. Neither are the DJs or the production companies that were going to set up the sound and the LED wall and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, 
and and those production companies incidentally have all had to make staff redundant after having them on, a, on furlough for the first few weeks and months they're now being made redundant so you know compared to those people i don't know who's worse off i don't think there's a competition but the fact is although you are totally entitled to your refund we haven't got the money it's gone it doesn't exist it went on marketing and whatever else um but it doesn't exist so although uh, you are entitled to that and i'm not taking that away um we we don't have it to give right now so we're we're kind of looking for your support as ticket holders as investors in the events that we were going to stage and we um very much are relying on you holding on to those tickets we will incentivize you sometime somehow we'll reward you somehow on the event itself i don't know how i can't promise specifics right now um but we we don't want you to ask for a refund basically um i mean the alternative is we fold the whole company down so you know we don't want to do that we've, we've tried not to do that all out on in our personal life if we had the money personally we would I mean, if it's worth mentioning, I don't think it is. Uh, but we, uh, you know, we've we've uh, deferred all our payments in our personal life. We're on universal credit and stuff like that. It's, it's a reality that we could not have foreseen. In fact, I'll tell you a little story. When we started this Ibiza Chill House in the beginning of the year, literally writing our business plans, speaking to accountants and stuff like that, tickets were already selling. And we said to ourselves, what could go wrong? We're going to have a really successful year. It's going to be a great year. All these tickets are selling. Some were selling out. And the answer was nothing. Nothing could go wrong. But as we've seen, everything's gone wrong. So I don't think I really need to say, if there's anything more I've forgotten to say in this little spill, I, uh, I'll add it to the video in text form. But um, I, think, uh, I think I've said what I need to say. So... Uh, yeah, I, I suppose just one last thing please don't email me don't post anything on facebook well you can if you want the best thing to do is to phone me and speak to me if you've got a problem phone me directly i can't be more frank and honest and open than that phone me directly my number is 077 double one eight nine seven eight nine six and i'll repeat it just in case you didn't have a pen O double seven double one. 897-896. If you've got any issues, any problems, if you're really desperate for the refund and I, if I can do anything, I will, phone me directly. Otherwise, your tickets are safe for the postponed dates. Please hold on to them. Thank you.